How good are renewable energy auctions? Starting in 2000, a policy called feed-in tariffs, or FITs, spread from Germany around the world to promote renewable electricity. But although it was successful, policymakers had two issues with it, cost and control. Government administrators set the rates, and they worried that they might be paying too much. In addition, everyone could build, so a lot more was constructed than experts expected. A lot of new players entered the market. To get better control and possibly lower costs, countries started auctioning projects. By 2016, significant amounts of solar or wind had been built under auctions in Brazil, France, Italy, and South Africa. We took a look at the outcome in this paper from December 2016. Here's what we found. Normally, you would want a certain amount built within a certain time frame. The curve of progress would look a bit like this. With feed-in tariffs, more was built than expected in many countries, so the curve was often more like this. That was good for the climate, but sometimes bad for budgets. And this was the outcome of auctions in Brazil and South Africa. Most were delayed, which is not good either. However, the delays often resulted from effects outside of the auction's design, such as delayed grid connections. Only in South Africa were all the auctioned projects even finished, and deadlines were generally missed anyway, though we lack full data for Italy and France. So policymakers arguably don't have more control here either. Now let's turn to the other issue, costs. The cost curve for wind power auctions in Brazil shows that a record low was reached in late 2012, but the country was not able to repeat that performance. When we add the prime lending rate to the chart, we see one reason. Interest rates went up. So the auctions were not poorly designed, bank loans simply became expensive. In other countries, prices went down consistently, but equipment prices were dropping worldwide anyway. Italy already had a lot built, so it started from a low price, while much of the initial progress in South Africa occurred simply because the market was finally getting started. So how good are renewable energy auctions? We found four things. First, project deadlines tended to be missed and price performance varied, but in both cases, the outcomes were due to external factors, not the design of the auctions themselves. Furthermore, low prices alone are not a sign of a successful auction, especially if the projects don't get built. And finally, we need better disclosure obligations to judge auction performance.